Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have a fun start to finish project to share with you. I'm using an adorable collection, paper collection from Knitwit Collections, and some gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. Those are my two favorite companies, and I love working with them together. Here is an overview of the finished gift box. This little gift box holds three different cards, and it actually could hold a little bit more if you didn't use any type of dimensional cards, and three envelopes as well. The paper collection that I'm using is called Grin and Barrett. This is such a sweet collection. It comes with all these adorable little bears holding flowers, lots of little elements with them. And look at that, I love the shading on the bears. I do have, if you've never used digital papers before, I have a video showing a little bit more on how to use digital papers. You'll find that down in the description box, along with information on what type of paper and printer I use. So here I cut out a box that I got from Silhouette America Online Store, and I'm adding mats to it. The box doesn't come with mat pieces. I just basically uh, drew out some rectangles, added a half circle to that piece there, basically designed them on my, my Cameo. This box also comes with a belly band that you see here, but I end up not using the belly band. And I love how all the papers just automatically coordinate. So I didn't really have to put too much thought into that. I just used one of my more favorite papers in the collection for the front and back of the box. And then I'm using some polka dot paper uh, as matte pieces. I added a matte piece to that right tab piece, which in the end I realized I didn't need to do that because that's where I'll be adding my adhesive. But it just quickly, uh, I was able to pull that off no problem. So here's the pieces that I was going to use for my belly band, and I like the way that those coordinated a little bit better. They stood out a little bit more. So I just added some ATG tape to the top of them and placed them right on top of my other pieces. So I'm just using some Scotch Quick Dry, adding it to that tab piece, folding that over, and folding down the bottom as well. Using my bone folder to reach in there and really press it down, make sure it's adhered well. Here is going to be the front piece. I'm adding four layers. I guess it's, yeah, four layers of the white and then the top piece. I want to give all of these pieces dimension. I'm doing that with all the pieces that you'll see, all the bears for the front of my cards as well. Look how adorable. Look at the shading in that bear. This is just such a cute collection. So I'm just kind of adhering everything down. Here's the little um, label for the friends. Again, I'm adding four layers behind that. I wanted that to be dimensional as well. And this little piece here says handcrafted for you. I added that to the back of the box. I decided I wanted that little cutout to be the back of the box. And here I'm using this white box pleated ribbon lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is one of my more favorite laces to use or trim to use. So I'm just hot gluing that down as sort of a, a belly band. But because it is dimensional, I need to add some chipboard to the top and bottom of that mat piece. That way it lays correctly on the box since that ribbon has dimension to it. So I just hot glued some two pieces of chipboard and adhered that down. Here's a little bow that I cut out from the Cameo. I'll put that, um, a link to that as well. I got that from the Silhouette Online Store and just added the pattern paper to it. And I'm making three cards from white cardstock, cut them to 10 by four, scored them in half at five, and that gives me a five by four card. All of my matte pieces, again, I printed out. You don't need a Cameo to work with digital papers. I like to use my Cameo, but you don't have to do that. You can simply print them out. If you have a printer, you don't even have to have a printer to use digitals, digital papers. You can have them sent to a copy store and have them print it out for you. But if you have a printer, you can print them out and cut them out. The little stamps there, the one that says love you so much, that's an Allie Edwards stamp and the heart you is also an Allie Edwards stamp. So I just printed those out on the bear and then I printed that out on my matte piece before um, cutting it out. And you, you may have noticed there were white pieces in the middle of my mats. That's because most of that mat was going to, to not show. So I added a white 
block to the middle of it just to save on ink. There's no sense in printing all that out and then covering it up with another matte piece. So not, now I'm just adding some little flower cutouts that come in the element pack. And on that card that I'm working on, it says kisses in the ampersand. I printed that out just using a font that I had in my computer. So it says kisses and hugs. And now I'm adding some sweetheart blossoms to this, just a, a couple of them, hot gluing them down. And now I'm finishing off the embellishment on the front of my box. I'm adding some miniature sweetheart blossoms. These are super cute. And to make my envelopes, I'm pulling out my we are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. This is one of my more favorite tools. I, I recently got it maybe, actually I, I got it um, a year ago, a year and a half ago. And I don't know why I waited so long because they came out a few years ago, um, but the cards fit perfectly in there. I don't know why I waited to get this little envelope board. I love it. It takes literally probably two minutes to make an envelope. So I'm adding these little elements that come in the paper collection. I'm using the bundled paper collection. If you use the bundled, it, you get everything that comes in the collection and it saves you 20%. So I thought that would be a cute addition to add to the front of the envelopes to tie them into the greeting cards. These I love. These are ivory flat back hearts from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm using a little glossy accents to adhere that down. And I'm placing all of these in my box. They fit in there perfectly. And now I'm just using these little flat back embellishments, little flat back pearls. Again, all of this is from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll have them linked down in the description box. And a little tiny one with a diamond in the center for the center of that bow. So as you can see, this came together super quick and easy, and I love how it turned out. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.